first off, we have uh, writer, actor, Dan Milano. <laughs> Got it. <laughs> oh, Uh-oh. Writer, actor, Kevin Shinnick. I'm going to sketch us. <laughs> Actress Claire Grant. <laughs> and uh, executive producer, writer, creator, star, Seth Green. <laughs> Hi guys. We got a actually, couple of empty chairs here. I know. Hey, should I know. we move down? We have a couple of we have a couple of party crashers. Um, have you guys ever seen a movie called Trick or Treat? Yeah. The guy who wrote the second and best X Men movie, Mr. Michael Doherty. Woo! Um. We also brought uh, a young ingenue that you'll hopefully be hearing a lot about in the future, <laughs> internet sensation Macaulay Culkin. We definitely have too many chairs. Yeah, everybody squeeze in. And the ghost of Breck and Myers, empty chair. <laughs> Um, so my, my, TV, my TV wife, Matthew Senreich, apologizes he couldn't come. Boo. I know. Boo. Wait, I'm actually, I think that's actually important. I think we should, uh, we should videotape that reaction. So Matt apologizes that he can't come, guys, but do you miss him? Yeah. Yeah. That, wasn't, that wasn't entirely convincing. Would you, <laughs> I'm going to send this to Matt. <laughs> Wait, would everybody say, like, hi, Matt, on a one, two, three? Okay, all right, let's do it. So one, two, three. You guys are... <laughs> Sounds like everybody just yelled Hyman on your computer. <laughs> Hyman. Happy New York Comic Con. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, Seth, you got a special announcement you want to make today? Oh, yeah, Keith, can we talk about that? Yeah, let's talk about it. Ladies and gentlemen, Adult Swim has picked up our show for a season seven. <laughs> <laughs> and we couldn't be happier. And don't forget, midnight, you know, season six still running till uh, February. They're just holding out for the DVD. Yeah, true. <laughs> so we open up for questions? Or? You know, it usually works best, guys. This is your panel. It usually works best if we just right. get everybody to ask us the questions you want to have us answer. So. Uh, my question is, what would your ideal celebrity threesome be? This can be... Um, it can be gay, straight, or cartoon. Oh. Is that a go down the line kind of question? Yes. <laughs> do you have an ideal? I think you, you actually do. I bet you do. Um, uh, knowing. Wow, well, I'd really like to hit uh, Leonardo and Voltron. <laughs> That'd be a messy three way. <laughs> uh,. Gosh, if I could corral them both with the, the mental stuff, it would be uh, Black Cat and Jean Grey. Ooh. They're both crazy, though, so. Kermit the Frog and Miss Piggy. <laughs> just, just so I can understand how it works. <laughs> You've been there. Oh, yeah. That's it. Give it to her. Yeah, give it to her. Really Mac? good. Go on, Mike. Oh, gosh. That's it, Mike. <laughs> Mac, please. Please, Mac. Whoa. Jump in. Whoa. Uh, I'd say uh, She-Ra and Princess Leia. You keep it classic. Yeah. yeah. You know, Princess Leia's at this con. That's yeah, she's right. glitter bombing people, yeah. I'll bet um, we could find a willing She-Ra somewhere in the audience. Yeah. I think we can do this. I would say uh, Macaulay Culkin and Seth Green. <laughs> no, Kev, Kev, what? it's things, Not again. That, things that haven't already happened. Oh, 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 oh. 
<laughs> then, then definitely Zan, Jaina, and me. <laughs> Where's, where's Gleek fit into that? <laughs> that he fits in more than you think. <laughs> Felicia Day, Yuna from Final Fantasy X, and Zool. <laughs> Zool, I like the Zool. You win. Zool. Is that, wait, do you, but do you have, a, do you have a, 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 a Triforce of your own? David Tennant and Ian Summerhalder. It's no Cumberbatch in there? <laughs> just to round out the... Just a little extra? No? No Sherlock? Um, <laughs> too much information? Sure. <laughs> I play right, for the let's, BBC. Let's I get think one. my gay one was... Gina I think Davis. my gay one was... <laughs> oh! <laughs> dot, 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 dot. <laughs> it's like love is... Dot, dot, Wait, dot. Wait, that started with Gina Davis. Gina Davis Gina Gina. and Jean Grey. There you go. Nice. Nice. Right on. All right. I think we can all get behind that. All right. I think we all learned something. All right, we got three, <laughs> three yeah, rows. Let's move on. What's that? Next question. Oh. I'm up? Yes, Hello. Pika, Pika. Pika, Pika. I, I'm sorry, last year I didn't actually get to ask a question, and I was like two people away, and they closed the questions, and I was like, oh, Now you get we're two. Not, we're not going to let that happen to the guy dressed yeah. as Shaggy, ten yeah. people behind you. Last question. <laughs> but, uh, he's, not, he's, he's not dressed as Shaggy. But, I guess my question is, who is your gay celebrity quash? Good lord. What? Number Bosch. Oh. <laughs> when did this become the People magazine? Sherlock! <laughs> Sherlock! <laughs> Sherlock! Because it's entertaining that way. Uh, true, true. Wait, do you I'm mean... I'm not fighting it. Do you mean who's my celebrity... Like homosexual. Do I... Do you mean do I... <laughs> oh, oh, no. Okay. I no, no. Oh, I'm just like, thank you for caring. Do you mean... Do you mean who's the gay celebrity I have a crush on or who's the male who celebrity? Who would you go gay for, not the, the gay person? Who is the celebrity that... It is of the same gender as you that you have a man crush or Me female not crush understand on. question. <laughs> uh, I, I want Allison Hayslip all day. Wait, who'd you say, Claire? Allison Hayslip. Allison. Oh, nice. We can facilitate that, honey. I've been working it. She's, she keeps shutting me down. Seth, it's Brecken, right? Is it Brecken? Brecken Meyer? <laughs> Probably, yeah, Brecken. That's, I mean, that's not even a surprise, I guess. Right. <laughs> Franklin Bash. Oh. <laughs> yeah, I would Franklin and Bash his <laughs> What? <laughs> it's the best I got, guys, sorry. Are there, are there, are there children here? <laughs> uh, I hope yeah. Not. Uh oh. Sorry, kids. Are we, are we Mike, who's your gay crush? Is that a down the line kind of question? Yeah. Is this how we want to spend this time? <laughs> <laughs> I, have spoken. I, I guess James Marsden. <laughs> Wait, did you say who? James Marsden. Okay, gotcha, yeah. nice. He is Good handsome. One. Obviously. Mac, is there somebody? I'm a classic kind of guy. I think uh, Johnny Depp, but... Uh, yeah. Yeah, right? Uh, but I think he's got to get dressed up as, a, as Jack Sparrow, I think. Yeah, there you go. Say. I think that would get me going. You that, make, that would get the motor running. Right. Ow! Woo! <laughs> Uh, I think I got a bromance going on with Daniel Craig. He just doesn't know about it. It's the swimsuit. Yeah, it's the oh oh seven. <laughs> no, I feel about that. I look. I would like Sherlock to deduce that it was a la Clue style that it was me and David Tennant in the TARDIS <laughs> with the sonic screwdriver. You've thought about what is this. this? Yeah, wow. Wow. <laughs> That's our do it Parker Brothers style. <laughs> now, if these were the questions at the vice presidential debate, I would have watched. <laughs> <laughs> Guys, to tell you the truth, we're not that far from it. <laughs> I don't think it'll be long until we're voting by phone and the Idiocracy. additional surcharges apply. <laughs> All right. Over here. Let's hear it. All right. So I'm going to take it back. Wait, um, lip up on that microphone so we can all hear it, though. Oh, well, I thought it was She's working. taking it back. Anyway, like way back. Let's hear it. Um, for Sean. Dude, I loved Airborne. Oh, yeah. It was <laughs> ice. Airborne, now available on DVD. <laughs> Got it. Watch it all the time. Introduce my... Okay, never mind. Um, my uh, question is, would you make uh, an Airborne cameo into um, Robot Chicken? I don't know. Maybe you know, I'll, t I'll tell you the truth. You know, we we never just sort of throw a, a a dart at a target. It's always somebody has a joke that they want to tell about something in particular. 
And we haven't had any writers that threw any airborne jokes out. It's not like I rejected them. Now they will. <laughs> Let's find out. Here they come. Yeah, Dan, Kevin, what's up, guys? Yeah, the audience has spoken. Okay. There will now be. Although I'll tell you what people have Some asked white about, white and I'm surprised it hasn't already come up, is uh, a Mass Effect <laughs> sketch. Woo! Like... Dude, you're missing out! But I think it's because Kevin hasn't played Mass Effect. Yeah. <laughs> oh, my God. No, 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 guys, hey, hey. What? Hey, 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 hey it's not everybody's got that kind of time. Yeah, that's it. It's a long game. Me like, not understand question. <laughs> <laughs> played, tw played it twice when I got like a. Yeah. I'm gonna get you home. All right. <laughs> Good exit line though. I got, I got enough, I got enough gas to, I got enough fuel to get us there. Achievement unlocked. <laughs> dedication. Hey guys. I appreciate your dedication. Oh, yeah. Hey Hi. guys. Hey. Hey. Hi Claire. That's Hi. pretty amazing. Um, You've done I, an amazing. Did you make the whole costume yourself? Oh, well, of this was a did. Kigurumi, <laughs> and I kind of remade the face, oh. and I made a t-shirt. So. All right, before it's Beautiful. over, I want a picture. Nice. Well, I hope you like it. Yeah, we it love it. Awesome. <laughs> Thanks. Uh, my question is, um, I love Robot Chicken toys, and I was wondering if any new ones are coming out, and also, I would love to have a Stupid Monkey plushie or a toy or something like that. that that's a whole separate conversation, the, the Stupid Monkey stuff. We're, we're really trying to figure out the best way to make product associated with that. And then as far as the robot toys go, it's, it's hard because there's only certain things that we could make. Um, and then it, you know, it's like, what character do you want? Bitch pudding. Bitch pudding. <laughs> I, can only, I can only tell you that I've been trying to do, Matt and I started putting together, we want to do just a little giveaway, or just like a little plushy bitch pudding for one of the cons. And it was supposed to be this con, and it just, I know guys. It just, I know, I feel, believe me, Sorry. I feel the same way. So suffice to say, it is not always easy to get what you want, uh, but we're still uh, hell-bent on making that product. Uh, so hopefully we'll have them for you at some point. Did we, did we give up on Apocalypse, apocalypse Ponies yet? Well, it's not a matter of giving up, it's more accepting the reality of it. And I had, I had a lot of, we're talking about the Apocalypse Ponies and talking to Hasbro about ma manufacturing them, and I can only say that they're not wrong for the reasons that they said they can't do it. <laughs> <laughs> we've, had, we've had some really good conversations, and they are, they said Slightly they, they, said they won't, and they're, not, and they're not wrong. They're not wrong. Um, so <laughs> I, I can only say that I'm sorry, and I wish we could too. But anybody can customize them. You can make your own. Yeah, they make those solid white ponies that are specifically for customizing. I'll buy them on eBay. <laughs> Maybe we'll auction better than this phaser. Maybe we'll we'll auction the puppets at some point for some something good. Yeah. Uh, that's okay. You guys don't have to be excited. Thank you. And one more thing. One more thing. Um, just to remind you, you said that you're gonna start working Robot Chicken Skate Tour. Yes. <laughs> did anybody so, here? Did anybody here come to the 2009 Robot Chicken Skate Party Bus Tour? It was awesome. <laughs> seven, seven or eight people. Couple people. <laughs> All right, guys. <laughs> uh, well, we threw a cross-country uh, roller skating concert series with the gym class heroes and invited a bunch of people to a very private party that anybody could get into. So, <laughs> very exclusive. <laughs> we might do it again. It's, it's a big event to take on, and we'd want to do it a little bit better than we did it last time. So, Next year. It's at least, it's at least nine months of prep. So maybe, maybe. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Thank you. Thank, Thank you. you so much. Thank love you. you, Claire. I love you. Team Unicorn FTW. Thank <laughs> you. Yes, sir, right here. Yeah, Seth, I wanted to thank you for uh, rocking the goggles. That was my high school career. Thank you. <laughs> right on. <laughs> <laughs> that was, was like sweet. borderline you, ironic, man. though. <laughs> <laughs> um, my question to you guys is, um, which was your favorite skit that you've guys done in the past six seasons of Robot Chicken? What was a favorite? Yeah. Uh, I always, I always go back to the Voltron breakdancing. That's just <laughs> so classic. It's so simple and just makes me really happy. And it's just exactly that. It's like, oh, we can make Voltron breakdance. Mine's always gonna be the Tooth Fairy sketch. Oh, I so love good. that sketch. <laughs> <laughs> I love that too. I, I turned Star Trek II into an opera. <laughs> And that, I don't know if it was funny, but it makes me smile every time I watch we got, it. We got like real opera singers. Yeah, the exactly, best, exactly. I told you that story, right? The guy, so the guy who played um, Kirk, I guess, in it, Kirk or Spock, he was like a, a, you know, an actual professional opera singer. And right after we finished that session and he's saying, oh no, the worm's not in my ear and all this like ridiculous stuff in, in Italian. 
He's like, all right, guys, that was great. I'm off to the airport. And I go, oh, where are you flying? He goes, oh, I have to go to Italy. And I go, oh, that's cool. What are you doing there? He goes, I'm singing opera. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, hi. Oh, you, did, you did that for real. Yeah, they sounded great. They really Pretty did. Cool. Dan, do you have a favorite sketch? The giraffe in quicksand is my favorite. <laughs> yeah. I'll always, always be happy with that. I like that too. Mac, have you ever seen our show? What show? <laughs> <laughs> we're on a show called Downton Abbey. Oh, I love that show. Yeah, we're, we're good. Yeah, you guys good are me. classy. <laughs> we, we are that. Uh, I honestly, I was a big fan of the, uh, the uh, Home Alone stuff you guys did for the Christmas thing, You're like so two nice. years ago. I did, I, that was a personal thing. You're so and uh, I didn't really like recording uh, when we did the uh, Duke Boys. Actually, like being in the booth when we did the Dukes of Hazard stuff. That was fun. And Boy. we just kind of spent a lot of time just going, uh, Wee! And I can't tell you, like, yeah, it, that, was, that was one of my favorite moments. That was, that was first That's a personal season. one. <laughs> Mike, have you ever seen our show? No. <laughs> no. No, Wait. actually, no, it was. I have, uh, it, and I'm with Claire, it was the Tooth Fairy. Aww. It's so dark. So it's dark. So dark. So Wait. So good. <laughs> Darkest sketch. Darkest sketch. <laughs> yes, yes. Ever. We should have some giant checks made. Yeah. <laughs> Wait, Mike, are there any, uh, is there any trick-or-treat merchandise? Isn't there a new Sam? that just came out? Isn't there like a Halloween Sam? Yeah, there's more toys. I think there's some out there on the floor. Oh, I don't so know if you guys have seen that. the movie, but there's a demonic trick-or-treater in my <gasps> film. And, uh, He's a little devil boy in a burlap sack. I know, make another one, I know. Try and <laughs> go bug the guys at the legendary booth later. Tell them. Yeah. <laughs> hey, would you let me, <laughs> would you let me cameo in that if you made a sequel? Yeah. Maybe. You, you almost heard it here. All right, well, let's keep, let's keep on with the questions. Thank you, guys. Over here. Uh, thank, thank you. you. Uh, thank you. Um, <clears throat> first of all, I'm, I just want to say that, I'm very, that uh, one of the things that's impressed me as uh, Robot Chicken's been on the air is that you guys keep getting better with each passing season. I'm just very... Uh, <laughs> thank just, you. Uh, yeah, thank, thank, thank you. you. But um, <clears throat> I have to ask kind of an obvious question. Uh, I heard Sam Elliott in the sizzle reel. You yes, got you Kyle Frickin' Chandler a couple of years ago for, I presume, the... Uh, I heard on IMDb he was in the uh, Inglorious Bastard sketch. Mm -mm, um, no, we've never had... The, I am, I, the one thing I can tell you is, as much as we'd all like to believe it, the internet is not always accurate. That's what I figured. <laughs> IMDb sucks for that kind of thing. I wish but, it was, guys. No, but Sam Elliott, it actually came... Uh, one of, is that what you're asking is how did that happen? Not just how no. that happened, but like, how do you get these guys? I figure they just relish the opportunity and it's that and, you know, money, cookers, we blow, don't have, whatever. We don't but, ever uh, really offer those like, incentives. No, we usually, in order. we usually pay scale because we don't have any money. Um, yeah. And it usually comes down to just asking. And a lot of times people just think the joke is funny and then they want to play with right. us. Yeah. Or somebody wants to do something really silly that's a friend of mine or that's whatever. What I or they have family members. Was anybody like that, the show? Sorry. Was there anybody that you were really proud to get or anybody that like surprised you? I mean, I couldn't believe we got Sam Elliott. We all kind of sat back and we're like, that happened. This year's been crazy. We got Alfred Molina and Paul Rubens in the wow. DC special. Like it was, it's just been a really crazy year. And then in the, in the proper season, we got um, Brent Spiner came and did, I, I started to mention this to IGN. So there's a sketch, you, do you guys like uh, Star Trek TNG? Do you like? <laughs> Woo! All right, so real. Real early on in that, in that series, Data, the android, has sex with Denise Crosby, Tasha Yar. <laughs> Which means at some point, Dr. Noonien Soong was like, hey, that robot needs a <laughs> <laughs> And one that works. So the idea came up to, for Dr. Noonien Soong to do a rap about how he put a <laughs> Data. Really good. That happened, and then we got uh, Kesha to come yeah. in and play a sentient killer robot, which is she's awesome. If you guys weren't fans of Kesha already, you're gonna be. And then um, <laughs> we got the RZA to play a very. Yeah. I know. We got we got the man with the iron fists to come in and be a really passionate pescatarian. <laughs> Um, and then we got straight up 50 Cent to do a duet with Parappa the Rapper. I know. It's been crazy this year. Yeah. What? 
<laughs> Wait, so was that the question? Did I yeah, answer Yeah, that, that was the question. You're Thanks right for bearing with me. Keep, keep on, uh, keep going. Thanks, buddy. Right, Thanks. Thank Over here. All right, let's go to this side. All right. All right. Uh, first gonna, of all. Are they going to fight, do you think? <laughs> no, there's two not. bronies. There's two for real bronies in the audience here. Oh. But I think y'all are friends, right? <laughs> do y'all know each other? No? This could still break out, guys. This could still break out. All right. Sorry, we'll wait for it to happen. I didn't mean to cut you off. I'm sorry. <laughs> first of all, about the Parappa thing. Seriously. Like, yeah. I thought he was dead after the whole, uh, you know, Remember the sketch? Where he went to jail? Yeah, where he yeah. went to jail. Yeah. Well, he didn't went to jail because he ratted. <laughs> we don't really have any actual... Continuity. This, all right, all right, this, right. this isn't really <laughs> real. There's no, <laughs> there's no real plot. There's no real... Okay, okay, okay. So, second of all, uh, you mentioned Breckin Meyer. I did. Who we all love and, uh, oh, you know... He'd be but, happy to hear that. <laughs> but the thing is, is that you mentioned one time, and this was actually, I believe, either last year or the year before, that there was a video of him in the booth for like 30 minutes going back crazy. Yeah. And it was really said, only like 10 or, 10 or 8, 12 seconds, but he did go crazy. <laughs> we it's, really... it's an Easter egg. It's an Easter egg on, um, is it on Star Wars? It's, so, I think it's, Star it's like Wars the third two? Star Wars. The third one? It's, it's like the most recent. Yeah, I think I don't it's want the to get that Star wrong. Wars special. But yeah, it's an Easter egg on one of the, on one of the Star Wars. I, I'm pretty sure. Oh, wow. And, and uh, yeah, he goes straight crazy in the booth. <laughs> yeah, it turns yeah. off the lights, paper everywhere. It's nuts. <laughs> Tears his shirt off. It's That's awesome. usually the first thing that happens when Brecken goes crazy. The shirt comes off. He always takes his shirt <laughs> off, though. If I, <laughs> if, I, if I ever made a book of all the pictures I have of Brecken in the booth with no shirt on, see, it would at least be a coffee table book. <laughs> <laughs> all right, the third and last one. And this is addressed Were to... Were any just, of these questions? <laughs> yes, this is a question. <laughs> all right, the third and last one. Uh, once upon a time on Twitter, you tweeted uh, that you had a little uh, porno mustache. Is there oh. any? No, no, I was shaved. I had a beard for something and then I shaved it off in stages. And I usually like to shave it off in stages because then you can do really funny things with your facial hair. <laughs> and then I was kind of delirious because I had just traveled. I hadn't slept in a couple, like, what was it? Don't you remember? I was like, I think I'm going to tweet this. And I just started live tweeting, shaving off my beard. <laughs> well, I, think I, you I apologize if you were subjected to that. <laughs> no. I think you should rock it, and I think plenty of people who should see you rock in a, a mustache in a porno mustache. If we make, yeah. I'll tell you what. If I can get Dreyfus and Estevez together for Stakeout Three, <laughs> then I'll rock that mustache. <laughs> Thank you very much. Thank you. Thanks. Over here. Let's hear it. Um, you can do it. It is uh, kind of. <laughs> this is kind of related to these the, are all your uh, friends people these are all your friends they there. want you to succeed um, <laughs> uh, uh, of the um, three fandoms um, which do you hate the most and least um, my little pony sonic the hedgehog or homestuck <laughs> I, or what, what? Wow. I, there is no hate at Robot Chicken. There is only love. That's actually, that's actually kind because of the, the thing is. It's kind of the truth, they, though. We don't really do I'm a sure lot Doug of hate Goldstein on stuff. Could answer that. We really well, just yeah. believe in the diversity of people's passions. Right. It's just the thing that most people like. It, most yeah. people dislike at least one of them. I don't like uh, the Jersey Shore. <laughs> uh, that's fair to say. <laughs> I don't. I don't, I don't really think that that's positive kind of entertainment. My Little Pony, it's not hurting me. I kind of... What I about Honey Boo Boo Child? Oh. We're in a... Guys, we are you in a... You for a dollar? <laughs> we're, we're in a dark place culturally, and it's really up to us to combat that cynicism. You know what I mean? <laughs> no, I do not want that job. <laughs> I've been watching our president suffer, and he's good at it. He's yeah, really. <laughs> that poor guy. All right, yes, sir. let's get this guy. Um, I'm going to make this real quick. Um, first of all, I've been a fan since, like, season one, and I'm just ecstatic that you guys are still going on real strong. Thanks, so, man. We're, thank you very we kind of can't believe it's still happening. I know. I, <laughs> Super shocking. The season seven thing was really good to hear, too. Thank you, Keith. Yeah, um, <laughs> Thank you. I don't really have a question, but I like drew a specific picture for Seth. 
And this other wondering... Seth MacFarlane, because he didn't come. <laughs> <laughs> no, for you. And Seth Rogen, I think, is shooting a movie somewhere. <laughs> and I think Seth Meyers is still hosting the news on SNL. <laughs> Not search specifically for you. For me? Was, yes, for you. How do you want to? How do you want to do this? I don't know. I want maybe <laughs> hand it to you. <laughs> do you want to? Do you want to bring it up? I'll meet you here. Yeah, sure. All right, but no grabbing. No grab. No prop. <laughs> open mouth. Crowd open mouth. <laughs> kiss. 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 No. no. Do it. <laughs> Aww. Hey, question over here. It's cute. It's me with Chris Griffin. Awesome. And we're rocking. And then he made me Hold sort of a uh, life in hell Batman. <laughs> yeah. Thanks, man. Why is his hair and blood in here? <laughs> <laughs> he wants me to have That's his awesome. DNA so I can clone him. <laughs> uh, will you be doing any more Sonic the Hedgehog sketches? Uh, is there, nice is there anything, tales. Is there, any, is there anything this season? I don't think there's anything this season, but it, we, I mean, we like Sonic, so we play with Sonic when there's ideas for him. Okay. Oh, and one more thing. Will I like your DuckTales t-shirt, by the way. Yeah, thanks. Yeah. Yeah, just one more thing. I've got to ask this. Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. I just got to ask for Wait, everyone. do you guys want to do that with me? DuckTales. Every day that Feels I'm making <laughs> Da, 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 danger. That feels good, guys. It feels good to be amongst friends. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Just one more thing. Will there be any sketches on uh, My Little Pony, French of His Magic? Yeah. Again, not this season, but I wouldn't say no. Okay. We're going all different know. directions. Yeah, thanks. Yeah. Thanks, man. All right. All right, guys. You fight yeah. it out. I know. No, um, hi, Seth. Hi. Um, I met you last year, and uh, my dad really wanted to come and meet you, but he couldn't last year. But hey, what's he wanted up? to say hi, because he hey, didn't dad. meet you last year. Nice hi. to meet you, Dad. Hi, Dad. John. Hi, John. Hi, John. Wait, everybody, everybody say hi, John. Hi, hi John. John. Hi, John. John, is this your first New York Comic Con? No, it isn't. <laughs> what are you looking for on the floor? Did you get that, did you get that Ardman Batman yet? I think he's just... No, I, I, I just come here and watch. Okay. It's, it's amazing. <laughs> and occasionally videotape the young girls. I don't know, John. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> you run a risk stepping up to that mic. <laughs> question is actually, um, my one friend Justin has come here every year and he couldn't make it this year because he's moving, but he wanted me to ask you the question in honor of him, can you do a sexy oh, pose? For hell. Yeah, of course. <laughs> I knew this was coming. I knew this was coming. Guys, we actually, we, we meant to rehearse this. We should do like a straight up like family feud tableau. <laughs> but it should be like a sexy, Keith, you might, have, you might have to do it on this. Oh, okay. Keith, I'll film it. If you stay in the center like arms like that. What's going on? Yeah, I'm taking a picture. I know, I'm taking a picture. Yeah. Oh my god, what is happening? Oh my god! Oh! Oh, just is missing this! That's usually yeah. the only picture that makes the papers. <laughs> yeah, Bonsa, thanks again. Me and my dad, huge fans of Robot Chicken and you. Tell them we said hey. <laughs> I will. Hey. Thank you. Thank Bye, Dad. You. All right, speed round, guys, because we're running Over into here. the end we're of it. We're out of time. Hey, guys. Just, hey, man. Just wanted to say I loved uh, I love Robot Chicken and the obscure references like the Castlevania fetishism. Yes. And, Are you uh, dressed as Alucard? Uh, no, it's uh, close. He's another demon-human hybrid, uh, Dante from Devil May Cry. Oh, of course. <laughs> 
Um, <laughs> Seth, I know you were on Conan O'Brien, I think about a year ago, and you had, I think it was the Sailor Moon cosplay picture that you had to kind of explain to him who, uh, what Sailor Moon was. Oh, yeah. And I'm sorry, Claire, were you Sailor Moon in that? I in was. That, yeah. it was. That was an awesome moment where you had to educate him on the finer points of anime. <laughs> uh, my question is, to get him back, because now Conan has his own alter ego, the Flaming Sea. It's true. I saw that right. in San Diego last could, year. Could we possibly see a skit with him in the near future? Uh, I won't say no, but none of our writers have pitched us that yet. <laughs> gotcha. Yeah. Thanks so much, guys. Right on. Thank you. Thank you. Let's there do it. Let's speed round. Speed round. Where's my see our little paper boy? I hope <laughs> it's not an audition. Come on, bring it. <laughs> uh, honestly, can we just all get a taste of bitch pudding, please? Bitch pudding. Katie, Sa Katie Sackhoff's not here. Oh. I know, but but uh, I'm sure if everyone tweeted her, she would be happy about that. <laughs> uh, <laughs> see Marty McFly back there too. Buddy. All right, let's do it. Hi, this is for Seth. Is there going to be a season two of Titan Maximum soon? <sighs> you know, probably not a straight up season two, but we have talked about the possibility of doing a special, like maybe a 44 minute, just something to, <laughs> something to, do, the, something to do a show where it wasn't a series, but maybe just do it as a special. Because a lot of people love that show. Did you guys watch Titan? We like Titan too. It's a very complicated thing to produce, so it's that was how it worked. Oh yeah, there's a there's Boba Fett chicken. chicken. What's up, man? Hey, what's up, Seth? I saw you last year. Uh, quick question. I know you've done the Star Wars episodes of Robot Chicken. You've done the DC comics. Are there any other properties that you would like to devote an entire episode to, like Doctor Who or Star Trek? Anything you want to do an entire episode to? Yeah. I mean, Both. yeah. We're awesome. we're big nerds. <laughs> we love all that stuff, and if we could. If we could get any oh. of those people to agree to let us dedicate half hour or an hour to it, we'd be stoked to. Yeah. Although yes. we, uh, DC, DC seemed to work really well. We had a lot of fun doing it. And so we've been talking about doing a second one. I just want to gauge your level of interest. Marty! <laughs> All right, speed round. Marty. Marty. I have a question and a request. Are you here um, from the future or the past? <laughs> <laughs> right now. Um, That's fine. The question is, uh, you do a lot of Street Fighter um, sketches, so uh, which is your favorite Street Fighter? Oh, like which iteration of Street Fighter? Which is your favorite Street Fighter character? Character Dalsim. <laughs> yeah. And uh, those stretchy arms. Can I, ha can I have a hug? Hayukis. Yes, Marty. Yeah. <laughs> Great Scott. No, Marty, that was a paradox. <laughs> That's not Marty. He's just wearing an orange vest. <laughs> That's you in the future. Yes, sir, right here. Speed round. I really liked your uh, the sketchy different artist, uh, the lightsaber sexy fight. Uh, the, I can, the lightsaber oh. sexy fight. Oh, fight. thanks, man. Yeah, I was we, made, we made that. Yeah. <laughs> and I, I can't get enough of robot. Uh, you know, your writing. Uh, I was just wondering, do you do any more web exclusives for Robot Chicken or anything else like that? Am I gonna do any more web exclusives? Web exclusives. Web exclusives? Um, yeah. I don't know. I mean, we really love the free exchange information on the internet, and we like making content specifically for it. So I would say, yeah, we'll always make stuff that's just for the web. That, that, that kind of answers it. Black Cat. <laughs> oh, what's up, Black Cat? Uh, actually, um, I came to ask, I know they said it at the beginning that you're doing the signing tomorrow, but I've tried a couple of times to get you to sign my Wolferman Hart t-shirt. Ah, oh, well, we are, doing a, we are doing a signing tomorrow for I know, like an hour. And since apparently I'm in your fantasy, do you want a hug? <laughs> <laughs> Not in front of my wife, Cat, come on. <laughs> I'll hug her too. Fel Felicia, my wife is here. Jean Grey is in the audience. I can't believe this is happening. <laughs> Wait, wait, but you, t you, t <laughs> you, you two need to get together so I can take a picture of that. That's too funny. And then fight. <laughs> no, seriously, come here, come here. We'll all take a picture together. Yeah! Wait.
Over here. Uh, yes, this is for Seth. Um, what is your opinion on the fan reaction to Star Wars Detours? Uh, so far, it's positive. I mean, you know, people, everybody that likes Star Wars is real passionate about Star Wars. And so anytime there's something new, it's really easy for anybody to get excited or, or angry or what have you. But um, this is all made from love. We love Star Wars. It is not for five-year-olds. It is, I think it is taking the Star Wars universe and just making it Springfield and really trying to open it up in a very Simpsons, Looney Tunes kind of way. And, and, yeah. um, and yes, with, that includes, I, there's... I can't there's physical I honestly, stuff, but there's a lot of clever characters. I just can't stuff. wait for you guys to actually see the actual know, it's really show yeah, it's instead hilarious. of just the teasing previews. And, 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 and it's not canon. If you well, think it's canon, funny, watch it. No, if you don't, no, but don't we watch all it. know canon, and so we kind of can't help canon. but say, "Oh, that wouldn't, that wouldn't, we, that wouldn't happen," you know. So, but it's also putting a light on a lot of characters you, you know, didn't have the spotlight before. Yeah. So it's no, all, it's all new. It's crazy and irreverent <laughs> and sort of Marvel comicsy in that it is not. Canon, you guys, the snipers are going to be closed. Be. We shouldn't even be talking about all this. Yeah, but I see Doc Brown out there now. <laughs> oh, <laughs> so, so far, so far, the reaction's been really positive, and I can't yeah. wait for people to see the actual show. It's fun as hell. I'm looking forward to it. And we're not allowed to talk about... Oh. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> uh, moving on yeah, right man. here. <laughs> I can't let this happen. All right, all right. Speed round, speed all round. Right. Hey guys, how's it going? Big fan. Thanks, man. Now, this question is for everybody here. My question is, can you guys describe your sex life in three Pokemon moves? <laughs> um, I think the question is, can you? My, sure, sure. My, uh, mine would be uh, sleep powder, pound, and teleport. I don't think any of us can beat that, yeah. so I think you're yeah. good. And I'll form you the win. head. Well, that sounds like and I told you we wouldn't talk about that. Well, well played. All right, what do you got? Pound, pound, and pound. Two quick things. I'm a huge fan of the show, been watching since season one. Seth, you are absolutely genius with the things that you guys all come up with. That word, that word is thrown around. The people who actually build stuff. They're you genius. guys who write the show, you guys are fantastic. Thank you. I'm a huge fan of the Transformers skits that you guys do. And I just want to say thank you for telling us about the dangers of Cybertronian prostate cancer. <laughs> Save a lot of lives. And, check up. and thank you for getting your ass checked out. Right. <laughs> Tailpipe. Over here. Hello? Oh. Um, hi. Um, when did... Uh, <clears throat> sorry. Um, when did... Uh, uh, like you being scared of Robot Chicken being canceled like became a running joke. When did that like come about? <laughs> like when very Day first, Day one. Very first season. Yeah, season we, one, we did yeah. not expect to make a second season, so we like ended with us being canceled in the first <laughs> season. Yeah. And then once we did that, we were like, oh, let's just do that every season. Yeah, it, 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 it gets season. funnier every uh, season. You guys do it's it. It's a safe out, and we we look yeah. we look <laughs> smart if it ever comes true. Yeah. <laughs> But unfortunately, that's never going to come true, is it? It's going to always Fingers keep crossed. running. We like making the show, man. We really enjoy it. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. What do you got? Hey, everyone. Hi. I just wanted to say that you do get really brutal with a lot of the well-known characters that everybody knows and loves. Have you ever gotten any cease and desist or lawsuit threats from any of the companies that own said characters? Yes. Next question. All right. <laughs> Moving on. <laughs> Over here. <laughs> <laughs> um, how do you um, come up with the name of Robot Chicken? Where'd the name come from? Yeah. We yeah. were really, we were uh, really A sushi back. restaurant next. Chinese takeout, let's go. <laughs> Chinese food, Chinese food menu. That's true. All right, you're we left before you heard the answer. That's all true. Hi, I think um, it's on the Wikipedia. Quickly, my quickly. Um, my second favorite sketch is the uh, Children of the Popcorn sketch. Oh, that's just this season. Yeah. yeah. Um, is there going to be a movie? That, that no. <laughs> Can there be an entire movie? Oh, really. Please. No, I doubt yeah. it. No, those are like the outtakes from the movie. Those are like the best. Those are the selects from the movie. Yeah. yeah. Your turn. Next. Um, have you ever had to throw out a sketch either pitched or partway yeah, in production sure. because it was too obscure of a reference? And if so, what no. was it? No. Ooh. We put the most obscure <laughs> show. They, it just, it just, it, the more obscure it is, the less time we'll devote specifically to it. We'll just, you know, you can usually tell that joke in one or two words. Hey, Seth, first, my girlfriend wanted to say, what's up? <laughs> and, You'll tell your girlfriend I said, what up? And, <laughs> and have any of you guys ever taken home toys from the show and kept them? Um, 
I'm sure. Yeah. What I kept like I've got, I've got the, Kev, do you have it? Have I, I have my own puppet. Because they were made two of them. So You're puppet from the Carmen yeah, Sandiego. Yeah, from the thing. Carmen Sandiego. When I have Dan, that. Do you have something? I have cork from the cork <laughs> sketch. Because that was that was yeah, that's my. Wait, face. Max, do you have your and toy from the first season? Yeah, yeah, you, yeah. There was one of me or something like that. No, right? I still. Yeah. Do you still have it? Though? Yeah, so of course I, I do. Can we can we have that back? But it's all property of Adult Swim. <laughs> brony. Oh. What's up? What up? I'm a brony. Brony. Loud and proud, brony. man. Damn straight. Hell yeah. So about. My Little Pony and what the other guy said about you not liking it or whatever. We I love it. Love it. Love but it. But there's one thing. Don't misquote I... me about my love for My Little Pony. <laughs> <laughs> I just have a serious question for a skit. What, would you ever try to do the, a molestia skit? What? Where? Not anymore. Yeah. Uh, I don't know that I understand what that means. It was just tested. No. <laughs> yeah. It did not pass. <laughs> it, didn't, it didn't sound like the audience is behind you. Darn. It, All right. I'll see, I'll see if I can't satisfy you some other way, Brony. Whoa. <laughs> I'm down with ML. Nice. MLP, though. Are you Let's hear it. Over here. Hi. We have a shocking hey. amount of ponies in our home. Hi. Hi. Um, I am in love with Macaulay Culkin. I, <laughs> aren't we yeah. all? Get, get in line, lady. I, I oh. know him. <laughs> <laughs> love him. Um, I wanted to know what everybody's fictional, favorite fictional creature is. Favorite fictional Ooh. creature? I'm a big fan of Mechagodzilla. <laughs> it's fictional? Do you, have a, do you have a favorite fictional creature? Um, yeah, um, I don't, I don't know. Dire Wolf? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah, I like, no, that's too, that's too soon. I don't know, get back to me. All right, come soon. back to you. Mike, do you have any fictional creatures you... Uh, the <laughs> poltergeist? <laughs> <laughs> she, that, that was a real lady, Mike. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> You're, you're, talking, uh. you're talking about Zelda Rubenstein. Oh, I know, I know, I know. Mine's Falcor. I like Falcor. I'll take Falcor. Dungeons and Dragons Beholder. That's what she said. Say the Bumble from Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer. <laughs> the, did you say the Bumble? Yeah, they, yeah. <laughs> Bumbles bounce, don't they? Yeah. Yes, <laughs> That's not real. You. Dan, did you have a creature? Yeah, the Beholder from Dungeons and Dragons. And the terror dog from Ghostbusters, I always admired. Great. Love you too. Yeah. Goes in the whole Zool fetish. I like Falcor. It's all connected. Falcor's Falcor. a good one. All right, yeah, guys. I like We're dragons. still in the speed oh, round. Luck dragon. <laughs> Your turn. Okay, I have two quick questions. Um, is there ever going to be a moment on Robot Chicken when the humping robot's going to hump one of the Transformers? Pro I probably. Are you waiting for that? <laughs> <laughs> Is, well, that, is, that your, is that your secret thing? They well, got it coming. No, it's just to be funny. Matt Senrich sees us live streaming. Hi, oh, Matt. No. Oh, is Matt watching the live stream? Hello. Yeah. Matt. We all just say hi, Matt. Wait, wait, wait. Will you guys give like an actual hi, Matt for the live stream? Which and way Tom is the Root. live stream? Which way is the live stream? Is the camera? Uh, anywhere. All good. the camera. All right, so everybody <laughs> turn around and face the back and say hi, Matt on one, two, three. Ready? Hi, Matt. One, two, three. Hi, Matt! <laughs> and Tom Root! <laughs> yes! Technology! Oh my gosh, we have, we have almost I don't know why I keep here. hearing Hyman. Oh my gosh, did okay. we do it? Wait, we're so Wait, close to you guys. Yes. Okay. Uh, I noticed that uh, this year you have a new opening animation sequence for Robot Chicken. Are yeah. you going to keep that for season seven or are you going to do another one? I can't promise that we won't change it for the next season. We, we almost had two this season, but we, we decided to just go with the one and leave it all the way through. We're starting to have fun with the mythology of the chicken. The scientist, so. Do you guys like the new opening? Yeah! yeah. I do. I like it. <laughs> right All right, Scooby Velma, or uh, Shaggy Velma. Like, hey, man, I just <laughs> want to know how did me and Velma over here get jobs being voice actors on your show? You're so super cool! What? Are, you, are you SAG? What? Screen Actors Guild? No, man, we Are just want to like, be Roll on about your show. Draw. I'm going to say that's the first step, just because we're, we're a union show, so you got to be SAG to start. That's how it starts. Reach ready, and run. I have a, just a request. I know you've done some Quantum Leap stuff on the show yeah. beforehand, and I would like to know if there would be any more, if there would be, because that always would be amazing. Comes down, always come down to the writers and what they okay. think of, but we all love they Quantum Leap. It. it was such an awesome show. That'd be great. <laughs> you got okay. it. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> we love you, man. My <laughs> Raggy. <laughs> <laughs> Peanut butter cup. I want to get sorted into Hogwarts robot chicken style. 
Yeah, yeah. That's yeah! Cool. yeah. Well, where's the, where's the I hat? I already said. Get your, get your hat and a wand. What's we'll see mean? if we can't make that happen. <laughs> we want to do a special for everything that Lego has made toys. <laughs> <laughs> You, you're wearing that sweatshirt, you might get eaten, buddy. You better be careful. We can do an all Reese's special. 22 <laughs> minutes of Reese's. All right, so what's your favorite candy? What's my favorite candy? Yeah. I, 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 mean, I, like <laughs> I think he's kind of leading you with that sweatshirt. Yeah, seriously. <laughs> all of it. So, uh, I'm just like, what's your favorite candy? I'm just like, I'm just like <laughs> E.T. I love Reese's Pieces. Okay, your turn. All right, bring Sunglasses. it. Sunglasses. That's you. Where, where'd you, go you, there? you, Corey Hart. You what do you got? This question's for uh, Steph and Claire. Okay. Uh, uh, what's the funniest thing you've ever done in Robot Chicken history? Wow. <laughs> Only you two can answer. I think that's totally subjective. What do you think the funniest thing we've ever done is? Oh. <laughs> what she said, gummy bear. The gummy bear? There you go. Oh, <laughs> another paradox! What? All right, we can totally do it. We can Nerd. do it. <laughs> I'm so or a dog. Oh my god, he's got a falcon and everything. Where are we? All right, speak okay. you. Okay, uh, my question for you guys is. Wait, 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 Okay, really quick. Um, I was just wondering because there are a lot of things that have been remade. I was wondering if y'all would do with like a sketch of remakes. Uh, versus originals, or vice versa. Sort of in that vein, we have Steven Spielberg this season make awesome. the movie with all of his uh, most popular characters in it. Hey, we gotta oh, answer, gotta okay. answer another question, another question, Millie, I'm following right, right. <laughs> No question, I just wanna say hi to Seth and Mac. Uh, I worked with you on the movie Party Monster, did anyone Woo! see it? <laughs> I, I played the yellow chicken, it's Brian. Oh, hi buddy. Oh. And listen, I know uh, people are waiting in line, I have a 1979 Kenner Millennium Falcon. Woo! I want to give it to you. <gasps> to me. Wow! Wait, does that mean I have to carry it? Hey, we got a falcon coming. While the falcon coming, we do another question over here. While the falcon's coming up, we'll do another question. Question. Okay. Uh, uh, oh, I'm gonna wait for Seth. To... Hurry up! Don't wait on Seth. Ask a question now. We'll tell okay. Seth what your question was. What's your question? Okay. Thoughts on the Mass Effect 3 ending? What? Oh, what? tell us about the Mass Effect 3 ending. Thoughts on it. And spoil it for everyone here. Everyone's played it. We are going to put a pause on that. Go to another question. Who's next in line with another question? Another question. Oh, there, Holding on, Mass Effect 3, Doc Brown. Okay, movies only. Off the top of your head, what is your favorite Star Wars moment? <laughs> I love you, I know. Favorite Star Wars moment? Um. This is amazing. <laughs> Seth, favorite Star Wars moment? Uh, it's pretty funny when uh, Luke Skywalker cuts off Darth Vader's head and then it's his face inside. And I agree. Like, What's the ending of Mass Effect 3? Favorite Star Wars moment? Mike's favorite Star Wars Yoda makes the, the X-Wing come out of the swamp. Yeah. Nice. That's pretty good. Power converters. <laughs> <laughs> there was a, uh, obviously an empire when Han is flying close to Cloud City and they fire on him and he says, well, clearly Lando's forgotten about that. And I wrote about 900 ideas of what that possibly could have been. <laughs> <laughs> None of them. <laughs> None of them went. Not a one. Including no. a baking contest where Han used baking soda <laughs> in Lando's recipe. <laughs> <laughs> and ruined it, and he lost the baking contest because of it. Anyway, Dan, what is your favorite Star Wars moment? Uh, I was going to say, I love you, I know, but it's also when Chewie puts his head against the pipe when, he, oh, when, the, that's when the blast shield's doors Aww. close, because yeah, that's one. just how I roll. Doc Brown, thank you. Okay, that's yeah, all yeah, I have time for. Close yeah. us with a thank you. Thanks, guys. Thanks, everybody. He Thanks to uh, Chris, Claire, Seth, Mike, Mac, Kevin, Dan. Have an Good awesome night. New York Comic Con. Only Woo! On the Mel. Hi, Mel. How's it going? <laughs>